show you some outside pictures but this is the front door of our 2006 KZ Jag um, the people we bought it from was a couple with six small children and they all lived in here as well so the camper has already been modified for um, living so it's got like all the you know furniture taken out and already modified but this is the this is the um, yeah, the bedroom. <laughs> there's three pretty good size cubbies up here. And these are hard to open because there's no thing on them yet. But this is a, a closet. This will be my closet. Uh, I'll probably put some stuff down here too. Probably my shoes. It has a drawer with something mysterious in it. The drawer's not really working good. This, I don't know what's under this, but it's a, a platform. Um, this side of the bed has... A little thing too but we're gonna cut that out we're actually gonna cut our king size bed down this is a RV Queen and we're gonna extend our bed all the way to the wall There's very little room here <laughs> but that's okay this um, I'm not gonna lift it up because it's heavy but this lifts up underneath the bed and that's where the uh, fresh water tank is and there's some extra storage under there too this is just peel and stick Flooring, I like to eventually replace the floor and put a nice laminate in here, but it's not a priority right now. So that's the bedroom. Ooh, almost not my fan over. Uh, this is the kitchen. Again, I want to replace this, but not a priority right now. As we go down the road, I'm going to put some subway tile here, I think. But it's got, you know, a couple of cabinets, a microwave that I haven't figured out how they open because it's sitting down in this ledge. A little bit of cabinet space stove double sink i love having a double sink when we lived in the airstream we only had a single little bitty like bar sink and it was so hard to wash pans in it so i'm glad to have a double sink has three drawers well again the bottom one is kind of goofy uh yeah this is an aftermarket fridge they had in it fell during the move so i don't even know if it's going to work we may have to replace it but it goes in there they have uh, built in this little cabinet. Uh, I was going to take it out and put my own stuff in, but honestly, it's there, and I'm just going to use it. I'm not going to use my stuff. Uh, there's a fly or something. Uh, there was like a CD player, but I don't know if it works or anything. Don't really care. There's three good-sized compartments up here. <coughs> and three good-sized compartments here. And this is what they had in here. I think they probably had their four little lists. This goes into a bed. It's a jackknife. And I think they probably had all their four little ones sleeping um, on this bed. They had some pictures up, which was hiding a nice hole. <laughs> you know, it just, this is what it is. A nice fly in here. Gonna have to get my electric fly sweater. This is the uh, other closet. This will be Sean's closet. There's already a rod up there. I'm gonna put another rod here hang his pants here and his shirts up there and then there's um a couple of drawers i you know what i don't know if this is this might be mechanical if i can get it open Arrgh. i never have opened this and honestly can't get it open yeah it's all mechanical so it's not actually storage um just crappy looking but that's the uh that's the back of the outside shower over there. Um, that looks like the water hose for the shower maybe there. Uh, I'm not sure. And then I think there's like the gray water piping that comes from the kitchen to the right. And then from the shower, the shower is right there. But this is a drawer. And this is the bathroom. Let me kind of back up a little bit. This is the bathroom. Um, small but efficient 
two really big size cabinets. I was surprised. Me and Sean's stuff will definitely fit up here. We don't have a ton of stuff. And so it's double sided. And it's very, very roomy. It looks shallow, but it's actually got quite a bit of room. Uh, we got something, something here. Big shelf here. Oh, these are hard to open without drawer pulls. And kind of utility. They had installed a little system here. We'll probably utilize this. And there's a nice big, really sturdy shelf here. I'll probably put like medicine baskets and stuff up there. The toilet I'd love to replace. I tried to clean it last night, but it's super stained and grody. But we'll use it for now, but I would like to eventually get a new toilet in there. Bathtub is what it is. It's old. Needs cleaned, but you know, if you need it, it's there. <laughs> Skylight is broken here. Skylight is broken. Well, actually, just the screen, I think, on this one's broken. All right, let me back up. This little nook, I've already taken some of the sheet off. Underneath this bed, this was a double bunk. They took this bunk out um, on top. This is the outside um, storage underneath this bunk. So you actually could get under into the, the bay uh, through here too, but there's a door outside this um, back here has a escape window It's kind of hard to see from this angle and then it just goes all the way up. We're going to utilize this space Hopefully for Harrison some storage uh, Creativity there's a little light here if we ever get hooked up <laughs> uh, It's kind of hard to see but I'll, I'll insert some pictures of what it looked like from the previous owner so you can kind of get an idea of the space um that's it it's our tiny home and it's not, it's not much right now but i'm hoping that uh we're gonna make it our home i'm bummed because my desk is my everything at home so it's just not gonna fit in here so i'm thinking about building a little desk that goes right here from here over and just fills up this corner for my laptop and for me to do makeup and things like that so yeah that's it and uh, keep watching, keep following as we uh, renovate it a little bit and make it our tiny home.